Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 18th to the 24th of January 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week Cancer. So what do we have for Cancer please, Angel Spirits Guides? Okay, card has turned over. So we have the Seven of Wands. Okay, let's pull an angel card. Angels, what's the message for Cancer for the week, please? Message for our lovely Cancerians for the week. Okay, so there's wait. Okay, Cancer, so I'm gonna pull four cards. The first card is you. Um, your current situation, the second card is your challenge, third card advice from spirit, fourth card is your outcome, and then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So what do we have for Cancer, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Cancerians, 18th to the 24th, that flew out, but it flew out reversed, interesting, it just flipped out, didn't it? This fool reversed. The Five of Wands is your challenge. Three of Pentacles is advice from Spirit. And the Six of Swords is your outcome. Let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for our lovely Cancerians, please. Let's have clarifiers for the cards on the table, please. Angel Spirits Guides, 18th to the 24th of January, 2021. Starting with the full reverse, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we have the Knight of Swords. The High Priestess clarifies the Five of Wands. The, oh nice, the Ten of Pentacles clarifies the Three of Pentacles and the Advice from Spirit. And the Six of Swords is clarified with the Six of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles here. Germany, she's a Capricorn for me as a reader, though it can be Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus Capricorn, can be somebody who represents that energy as well. Somebody who is stable, secure, understands how to bring abundance into their life. So can be the energy of that. Now let's start here because we have seven of wands. So the seven of wands is you can see this person's being challenged, opposed, feeling a little bit overwhelmed, but they're getting higher than those that oppose them. Even though the odds seem against them, the perseverance, the resoluteness, the determination, the courage is actually overcoming, is actually putting them at an advantage on higher ground. So whatever you've been opposed with, the challenge, sometimes this appears when you're competing for something, cancer. Um, I'm getting definitely some kind of getting on higher ground than those that oppose you, but it, it is a card of there's still perseverance, there's still action to take when the Seven of Wands comes. Um, you're absolutely getting on top of the situation, whatever this challenge is. But there is definitely an energy of you just need to wait maybe a bit longer and persevere. Just keep going uh, because there's definitely an energy. You are on track. Just keep persevering. Keep going. You are gaining higher ground, even though you may not be aware of it. You know, it's that kind of energy. It feels that the, I'm feeling the lack of progress here. Let's clarify this Knight of Swords. It feels like there's been a lack of progress in a situation. It feels more money in Korea, I have to say. I mean, it could be also to do with property. If you've been putting an offer on a property, moving home, relocating, that kind of energy, yeah. 
this is what I'm feeling. You know, that Knight of Swords, I'm definitely feeling it's clarified with the Empress. And she is about the creation of something new, the birth of something new. But it feels like there have been delays. Uh, I mean, sometimes this can be about you holding back for whatever reason, but it doesn't feel like you're holding back here. It feels more that things are just not happening. The new beginning is not happening. Um, there have been delays here and it's big delays, you know, it could be things have been put on hold. And there's a desire to make progress in a situation. You know, certainly with that Knight of Swords, it's a card of progress. With the, with the Empress, or you might be waiting on some news, you know, news or progress in a situation. And it's to do with manifesting something new. Now, I'm definitely feeling in this energy, it could be moving, relocating, offers on a home. Um, could be to do with your money career, could be both of those areas. She is an abundant energy and when she appears in a reading, it's definitely coming. The abundance is coming. She's the beginnings of abundance, the beginnings of, of something new, very good in terms of money career, very good in terms of love, romance, relationships. But it doesn't feel like it's manifesting yet and that's what your challenge is. There's still a bit of waiting here. There's still a bit of persevering to do and I'm definitely getting that energy. High Priestess is trusting your intuition. You are being guided. And that's when the High Priestess comes out to remind you that this isn't a journey that you're taking on your own. You are absolutely being assisted through dreams, through your intuition, by God, the divine, the universe, guiding you forward. Even when you don't see the path in front of you, she is the person who guides you through the murky waters of, you know, lack of clarity by trusting your intuition. So there's definitely this kind of energy that you might have been competing and feeling competing for something up against other people. And it could be to do for an opportunity. I mean, you might be either competing, I mean, it could be competing in terms of a home, a property, or you might just be finding something challenging here. When is it ever going to happen? This is a challenging process. I mean, that could be in terms of moving, relocating, but it also feels for some of you in terms of competition. I mean, the five of wands is definitely an energy of competition. But there's definitely an energy here. I mean, I like the five of wands, certainly in the challenge position, because it generally says, yes, you're competing for something, but that, that tension, that challenge will soon be released. There's an energy of weight, but it definitely feels like it's soon to be released here because the new is waiting for you. It's delayed, but it's definitely still here. And that's the beautiful thing. There may well be delays, but I feel in this situation, it's coming your way. So it feels a beautiful energy here. Because we do have, I mean, this energy, which is beautiful. Now, Cancer, if it's to do with money, career, finances, wow, this is amazing because there is the success coming your way. The beginnings of manifesting what you've been wanting to manifest. Maybe the news or the progress that you've been waiting on a situation to manifest this is it coming this is the beginnings of it being manifested it's another three the empress is the major arcana three so like i said it is coming your way the beginnings of success that is the three of pentacles very very good in terms of money career business and again it's topped with it's clarified with this ten of pentacles which is greater financial reward greater financial security, long-term financial security, not just for you, but for your home, your family. Um, and like I said, I mean, this can be to do with moving property, moving home as well, some of you, or both. I mean, you might be moving for a job, a career that will give you more um, abundance. The abundance is definitely coming your way, but there is definitely an energy of just keep persevering. Ten of Pentacles is a wonderful card of goal achievement as well. So what you've been hoping to achieve here in this new beginning, it definitely feels for some of you it's coming your way. Very beautiful indeed. Now, the Queen of Pentacles with the Six of Cups, 
This can sometimes be about somebody from the past coming back into your life. So in terms of, um, you could be dealing with somebody that you already know. You know, you could be reconnecting to somebody that you've dealt with before in whatever context, whether it's work, whether it's buying a home, you know, it's, it's this kind of energy. There could be some reconnection here. Uh, there's definitely this energy. The Queen of Pentacles is also an abundant energy. She is somebody who stands in her own abundance, her own security, self-worth, self-esteem. Somebody who understands how to focus, use her practical talents experience to bring abundance into her life. Now, she's very good in terms of money, career, business. Um, so she could be offering you something here. She's also a sign of moving towards greater abundance, um, greater security, greater financial success. So there's definitely growth when she appears, definitely growth, something beginning to happen. Uh, and I definitely feel for some of you it is. I mean, the Six of Cups on its own is a card of, it can be a card of reconnecting to your own happiness, finding, you know, reconnecting to your own, finding your own happiness. But it can also be a card of just joy, just finding joy again by what this Queen of Pentacles is offering you. So either the energy of or a person in your life, male or female. But what they're bringing in is the ability to detach from troubled times, and I feel that there have been delays and then things just start moving, you know. Um, now, there could be communication here. It's interesting because it's Mercury in Aquarius. So it might well be for some of you, there is some communication coming your way as well that is allowing you to finally detach from troubled times, um, detach from you can see the choppy waters here and they're moving towards calmer waters ahead. So better times ahead. This can also be a card of moving, relocating, life transitions. So moving job, moving for jobs, moving for home, both of those energies. Um, it could just be life transitions, finding your happiness again. So it definitely feels in this energy for some of you. The shift is coming. The shift is coming. And it's bringing in abundance, that is for sure. I mean, this is either financial abundance, it's very good in terms of home property, um, financial rewards for you and your family as well. Uh, it definitely feels in this energy there's greater financial success ahead for some of you. And it's heralded in by what this Queen of Pentacles is offering you, the offer of abundance. Um, whether that's to do with a home or property, career, like I said, but. There's definitely an energy here, Cancer, keep going, because whether you know it or not, you are getting on higher ground than that which opposes you. And if you stand resolute and keep going at something, there will be the shift coming your way that is leading to this abundance. So if you, and, and success, I mean, it is success. So definitely an energy of you will be successful here. Let me just grab the cards. Okay. Sorry, my microphone just got knocked. Okay. Final message for Cancer, please. Final message for our lovely Cancers. Thank you. Love the energy we have. Pure intention. The fairy of manifestation will help you use your wishes wisely. Manifest your heart's desire with pure intention and for the highest good of all. And it's that pure intention, that focus that she is very good at as an energy. Stay focused. Stay on track. Don't deviate from the path. This is very much about a single-minded, focused intention. What do you want to manifest? Because for some of you, this is a, the pentacles is a conscious reality thing. You have the ability to manifest something new here. Um, very, very beautiful energy there, Cancer. And it ends in, in a good success. So lovely energy. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.